In this lesson, I want to talk about how we can change the default branch name in Git using a feature that is available in Git by enabling custom templates. If you want to read a version of this video, you can check out the article I wrote here on CraftQuest called Using Custom Templates in Git to Change the Default Branch Name. It's the same thing that we're going to cover here. It's just written and it has all the commands. So if you wanted to uh, review those as well, that would be a good companion to this video. So templates in Git are the starting files and settings for all new Git repositories. And any files that are not started with a dot, which are hidden files, that are in this templates directory are going to be copied to our new Git repository upon initialization. And this is for every repository that you initialize on your local machine. And these template files are stored in a global system location that we have to find. So let's find that. Now, if I type which Git, it's actually going to say user bin Git. That's just for the binary. So it's not going to tell me where the location is. But what I can do is do find slash name or dash name. And then Git core is the name of the directory that the templates directory is in. And this is going to go through my machine and find everything. And I can see it right here is the one I want. And this is because I'm running the developer tools on Mac OS is that's where this is. Now by default, Git stores it in user share Git core. And you can see that I just have a custom path because of my OS. So that means I can go into that directory and you can see this right here called templates. That's what we want. So if I go into there, here's some information that we need. So this is all like, if you ever go look in the .git directory in a project, you'll see stuff like this. But we do need to create one file called head so we can tell Git what the default branch name should be. But, but we don't want to edit this core version here in the Git code. We want to actually copy it over somewhere custom. So let's do that. So I'm going to put it in my user directory. So I'm going to go make directory and then tilde slash, that's just shorthand for my user directory, and we'll call it git templates. And now I can copy it. So we will do, let's just back out into our user directory here so it's a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to do CP for copy minus A, and this option is to preserve the structure and attributes of the files and also copy recursively. It's a little bit of a shorthand. And I'm gonna do library, developer, command line tools, user share, git core, and then templates. And I'm gonna copy that over into, I wanna get actually the contents of that into that, and then git templates. All right, so now if I ls git templates, you can see everything is there. So now we have a copy of this there, so we can now edit this to our liking since it's our own user copy. We're not messing with the, uh, the main copy of these files. And now we wanna set the default branch name. So we're gonna create a head file in our templates directory here and then populate it with the default name of our branch. So I'm just gonna use echo ref colon refs heads main that's going to be the name of the branch and i'm going to basically write that or echo that into git templates slash and then the file name is going to be head so this is going to create this file it doesn't exist yet and then write this into it and then save it there we go so if i do more git templates head you can see it's there. If you've ever looked at my course here, uh, Git Under the Hood, you'll know that a lot of what Git does is a lot with text files. Um, of course, there's a lot of binary files as well, but all of the settings, things like this, it's just text files, things like the, the, the current head hash for a branch. It's all just in a text file. So that's all we have to do there. So now the next thing is we want to set the Git config to use our own custom template that we just created in this directory. So to do that, we use the git config command, 
And this is how we set config items in our git config. And there's a couple different git configs. There's one which is global for all of your projects and there's the, also the project specific git config. We wanna use global because we're gonna use this to initialize new git repositories. So git, and then we wanna set something in the init section of the config. And the item we wanna set is template dir for directory. And we're going to set the value of that to tilde git templates. So if we take a peek at our git config, which is on macOS and typically is in your user directory. So if we take a peek at it, it's actually git config like that. You can see here it is right here, the init section, and it has this saved. So it says, hey, when you initialize a new repository, make the use the templates in this template directory to initialize it. And that's gonna grab everything we just created, including the head file that specifies main as our branch name. All right, so now we're ready to initialize a new repository. So I'm going to go uh, into my training directory and just like I always would, I'll do git init to create a new git repository. And we'll just call it git templates test. And so what this is going to do is initialize a new repository in the git templates test directory. It'll create it as well. And you can see here. Now it said reinitialize. It's just one of the things about using custom templates, your own templates, is that it says reinitialize existing git repository. I think it initializes it and then reinitializes it with your own stuff. And now if I go into git templates test and do a git status, you can see I'm on branch main. Of course, if I do git branch, I don't have any branches yet because I haven't committed anything. And that's when that becomes active. So if I just do touch readme.md and git commit, am added readme file. Oh, I got to add it first explicitly. There we go. Now we'll do git commit. There we are. And now you can see I have in my command line prompt, I show the name of the current branch. You can see now it's called main. And if I do git branch, you can see I now get main. It's my checked out branch with the asterisk. And it's also the branch right here. So that is how you use Git templates to use a custom naming convention for your main branch. In this case, we changed it from master to main. Thanks a lot for watching. I have a lot of videos here on CraftQuest about Git, and you can go ahead and check all those out. And I hope to see you in the next video.